Hi, this is Jesse Stay with GeekGreens.com. Today we've got another exciting episode. I'm going to show you a walk-in greenhouse that I got at Big Lots for $59. Unfortunately, they're not available right now, but you can, if you keep watching, there's always a deal like this that comes up. So, uh, so keep an eye out and watch my Facebook feed, my Twitter feed, and elsewhere, and I'll, I'll share it. Um, but I want to start out real quick by showing you. Uh, we've got little Alex here. Um, I got, yeah, there's an airplane up there, huh? So I, I've got uh, boxes here. It looks really trashy. We've got weeds all behind me. Hopefully, uh, hopefully by next year, you won't see any any weeds back there. And that's actually the whole reason I've got these boxes out. These boxes are from a recent move we had. We recently moved to a new home. And, uh, and the boxes actually are going to help us kill these weeds naturally without using uh, any uh, uh, any any uh, weed killers or anything like that, and uh, and we'll put rocks or something else uh, above it to to uh, make it look nice and neat. And I'm actually going to put my greenhouse on top of these boxes here as well. So uh, um, this this look much nicer. These boxes here you can get at any store or just find someone who recently moved and uh, ask them if you can have their boxes. It's actually uh, the people giving them away out there. So. Uh, um, Go out, find some boxes, and uh, and uh, cover your lawn where you don't want the weeds, and uh, then cover it up with some rocks and stuff. But and maybe I'll show you that in a future episode. So let's get going. I'm going to build this greenhouse now. All right. So here you can see we've got the uh, Village Green Deluxe Greenhouse, walk-in greenhouse. Uh, uh, I've seen some pictures. It looks pretty neat. I think we'll probably have to modify it a bit because I think it'll get a little warm on the inside because uh, it doesn't have a lot of flaps on it. But uh, but we'll modify it and update it. But uh, this is the box right here. You can see it was uh, $59 at Big Lots. That's the best deal I've ever seen on something this size. So really super deal. It's 50% off. Uh, keep an eye out right around fall time. These these greenhouses always go on sale. In fact, I bet you there'll be more deals uh, as we go uh, closer to fall. So keep an eye out uh, for better deals. Um, but let's open this up right here. All right. All right, so here we've got our greenhouse. Open it up here. Let's tear this tape up here. The great thing is I can use this box to cover more grass and weeds uh, when I'm done. Let's uh, pick this up. Open it. Got some little rope here. Got our cover right here. Got some attachment things here. More attachment things. Here are the instructions. And so we got some small poles over here. I'm just gonna lay these out to kind of organize them. Some stakes to hold it in. I'm probably gonna get some rebar to hold it in because my other greenhouse blows really easily in the wind. Now let's uh, let's go ahead and build this thing. Let's see how it goes. All right. Now one thing you're going to notice is on here there are little numbers on the uh, on the instructions. If you look at the bag, the number there are numbers on the bag. You're going to want to make sure that the numbers on the bag correspond to the numbers in the instructions.
Okay, so here we go. We've got the, uh, the, I want to say igloo, not igloo, the greenhouse. Uh, this is not an igloo. Uh, we've got the uh, greenhouse all put together, uh, assembled. I put the plastic on. Uh, you saw kind of the process of me putting it together. It actually wasn't very hard. Um, a few things with this that I've that I found out though. Um, one is it falls apart really easily. So if it's in a windy spot, you want to make sure it's nice and secure. Uh, one thing I did end up doing is I caught some uh, PVC glue, a uh, little blue glue, and I I assembled the uh, top and stuck it all together. Uh, the, the, the ceiling part so that that would hold together um, and then I left the rest uh, unglued just so I can pull it apart if I have to move it or anything like that uh, but that way it at least has something kind of holding it together um, the other thing I, I ended up doing is I moved it over to my patio because uh, this is going to be closer to my door in the winter so I can easily get to it at the same time, I didn't like where it was in my garden. Also, it was also a uh, in a really windy spot that was taking up a lot of space. So, um, so we moved it over here. Um, if you want to follow me over here? I'll show you. Just uh, give you a tour here of, of what we've got. So, um, so in here we've got uh, uh, we've got these little uh, great things. These things uh, just lay on top. Um, getting the right pieces in the right spot is important. So there were numbers and letters that attached to each. You want to make sure you pay attention to that as you're looking at the instructions. Um, uh, there are ties on the plastic to tie it to the uh, to the rods, and you'll want to make sure you tie. Um, beyond that, uh, this creates a nice controlled environment. Uh, I feel no wind in here, um, and uh, it. Uh, uh, it also uh, it's a little bit warmer here in the summer this is gonna get really hot I'm actually tempted in the summer in the middle of the summer to actually cut this a little bit and, uh, and, and open it up so uh, but what I'm gonna do is I've got right here I've got these uh, city planners here um, at, at the bottom here these uh, city planners uh, uh, I'm gonna just put these all down the middle and uh, grow vegetables, uh, cold weather vegetables throughout the winter so I can grow things like lettuce and, uh, um, and cauliflower and uh, broccoli. I've actually got some Brussels, sprout, Brussels sprouts going here and this will help it uh, grow uh, throughout, uh, there's the Brussels sprouts. Uh, this will help me, this will help it to grow throughout the winter even though it's really cold this area here will be a little warmer than the rest. It's usually about 10 degrees warmer which means at least another zone uh, that I can uh, grow through which means that my lettuce isn't going to freeze I hopefully it will keep growing through the winter and I can uh, keep eating uh, greens throughout the winter so uh, that's a hope I'll, I'll be doing the uh, other uh, planters throughout the bottom do some pots up on the top um, if you go over here over here I've got uh, I've got uh, my uh, I got some more leafy greens uh, growing in in uh, little uh, seedling planters here that I'm I'm growing, and uh, these I'll eventually transplant out into my garden. Uh, but I can also use these to grow uh, during the winter as well. So um, this is just going to allow me a longer season for the winter. But uh, here it is. This is this is the uh, the greenhouse, and uh, this will be a nice complement to my smaller greenhouse that I grew built earlier. Um, you can get these really cheap in the fall. Just look for the, just look for the uh, sales and uh, uh, look for the sales that you'll find in uh, in around fall time. Uh, you'll usually find them. Uh, I got this one for sixty bucks. Uh, so if you're getting it around sixty bucks at, at about this size, you're you're doing pretty well. So anyway, this is Jesse Stay of GeekGreens.com. Thank you for watching another episode of Geek Green. Um, I've got some great stuff here that you've seen already. Um, please like this uh, show. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I've got some great episodes. Right over here I've got uh, a uh, episode on growing pomegranates that grow in Zone 6 right here in Salt Lake City, Utah. I've got an episode on parasitic wasps over here. I've got rain manises that I've watched over here. If you want all things geeky and, and uh, greenery and some really cool ways to garden, 
Uh, I'm here learning with you guys, and I'll show you some really neat things that I've learned along the way. So be sure to subscribe and like, and uh, and I hope you enjoy the show.